Hey y'all, little crazy cooler. I'll do another episode. It's wee early hours of Saturday, April 6th. Uh, hell, I thought I'd do me a video. Old, old Richard, old BS3 gum farb. It's gonna knock off a video tonight, so uh, hell, why not? I call this what's really going on. Now, that last video I posted was Lake Whitney at Cedar Creek Park. And around the lake and the boat ramp. There's a lot of places I can do, but yeah, hell with it. Anyway, probably had to wait about two weeks or so to load that stinking video in. The internet quit. We had a little mom and pop internet place providing some internet. It was a, a you know line of sight. Well, it was eight miles out. Pretty good distance. And it turned out they were using illegal frequencies, uh, cell phone signals, is what I was told by the, the company that took them over and you know, bought them out, which was Internet America that bought this company out. So, in our best interest, we just uh, Terminated our contract. It was both of our, you know, the, me and my wife, internet company. We just scratched that deal and just canceled our internet. So, well, my old lady, she sure was pissed. And I'll tell you what. <laughs> oh well, you know, there's plenty of things I can do. I don't necessarily need to get her on the internet. But Oh well, we got us a new internet. It's uh, through Wild Blue, and there's a damn good difference between the the way the internet before and what it is now. I tried and tried to load a Lake Whitney video, and it took. Many a tries and it never did work. So we end up canceling our internet. So we're with Wild Blue, which is uh, I believe Visat or something like that. That Lake Whitney video and some of the videos I loaded before, I mean, it'd take all damn night for Christ's sake. Man, hell, it didn't take an hour. And I had the cameras, you know. The, doing his videos on the, probably about the highest video setting, you know, video quality, which I bumped it down on this one, maybe it won't fill up so fast, so I'm trying to cut to the chase, but you believe an hour, I think, what the hell was that video, let me see, let me get over here, how long was that damn video? Nine minutes. I think I I might have loaded the, the Dodge Caravan on there too, but I think the Lake Whitney video an hour. Hell, nine minutes it wouldn't even it would never load with the other internet. So anyway, we got the internet thing out of the way. So hell, I, what the hell I'm gonna talk about? Oh, today, well, it's not today, but consider this to be yesterday, Friday. My half brother's grandmother, you know, we had her funeral, Grayside Services in Hillsboro. 
uh, Alma New, 86 years old. Lived a long life. Real nice lady. But a bunch of us were gathered up. We had dinner at Central Baptist Church in Hillsboro. Uh, fairly decent turnout. Not no big, great big whopping congregation. But a few friends and a lot of family. So we had graveside services. And uh, I guess uh, we put her on them uh, right next to JD. I don't know what do you call that, a uh, moss or limb or whatever it is. It's a, a vault. That's where they'll put her, is put her casket in that vault right next to JD. There's a whole slew of them there. So. I don't know. That's pretty interesting, you know. Just put you in a vault instead of in a hole in the ground. So, whatever makes it work. So. I'm gonna blow my nose here. Anyway. And we hung around at my brother's in Hillsboro. What do we do? Just mess around with a bunch of stuff. Got my granddad's old Ford 8 in or 9 in, whatever the heck it is. I still wish he'd have kept the old Super, Super M farm all. I wish he wouldn't have traded it off that thing because that thing just. Uh, out of the little engine breather, it just pours oil out. And it's, it runs fairly smooth. That thing hauls all kind of ass. Road gears, got, I think got four gears in reverse. And it just gets on and flies, but drove it all down there in them trees and the woods down there upside. Of, well, hell, I like I was a four-wheeler, but drove down there a little bit up and parked it, rode four wheelers, kids were riding the... Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, <laughs> previous video kept me from loading. I think about seven minutes and it cut off. Anyway, yeah, I was riding that tractor down there on that tank. Uh, yeah, and the kids are riding a ATV down there too. We had a lot of fun cutting old trails up. It used to be there when my brothers were younger. They would just beat down some paths down there and kind of just had a good old time. Me and my brother got back down there just ripping it up. So anyhow. I probably think that uh, I gotta try to refresh my memory because the damn tape cut off. Uh, yeah, after that, uh, all of us that were there, my brothers, you know, my family, or my bunch, my sister's bunch, and my oldest half brother's bunch, and of course my youngest brother's bunch. We're all there, my mom. And we gathered up and met my aunt with my grandparents. You know, they were coming back from Cleveland from purchasing a roto tiller, which hell, they didn't have it and they had to order it. So, anyway, uh, we all met up at El Conquistador and, and kind of celebrated my grandparents' uh, 80th wedding anniversary so uh, had a good time my lens I just he's paid for six two adults six kids which three of my kids eat like adults but what not it doesn't really matter a damn bill mine how much was it? 15% gratuity tip on that damn thing. God almighty. That damn near 10 damn dollars worth of tip money or something like that. I don't even have the thing here. but 
it was uh, $77, $76.96 or something like that. I'm like, God almighty. Oh well, you can't get it back. Then I ate it. So, you know, it's, you know, I whipped out and paid for it. So. Anyhow, I was sitting here talking to myself while I was going and heard the camera cut off. So, if, well, if I said something twice, I oh will. <laughs> so, I may have to run these two videos together. Anyhow, I had to stop and delete the Lake Whitney video, which is still on this camera. So that ate up some memory. Anyway, I'm going to let y'all know what my kind of my video I like. I just can't get enough of this. Uh, maybe I'm close enough. That's Zombie Land. I think that's one of the most hilarious zombie movies they are. Pretty comical. Woody Harrelson and... Um, them other people. Oh well. It's pretty cool. It gives you a lot of good things that you need to know about zombies. Especially the double tap. And all that. Shoot them twice. So... Pretty educational movie, so... In another movie I've been watching a lot of, occasionally when I just get, get tired of the crap on TV and got nothing to watch, is, uh, of course this is a, a double feature. Um, this one's got uh, The Shining in it, which, which is an alright movie. Uh, not really into the horror mess, but a Full Metal Jacket, man. That is... In my book, that's a damn good movie. Damn good movie. Born to Kill. The peace sign. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Old Sergeant Hartman, old Lee Army in there, he just... I've never seen that movie. I've heard of it growing up, so... Let me scoot back a little bit, so... Yeah, he... Well, he tells him uh, scumbag prize <laughs> what it is. I like to laugh my ass out when I first saw it, the way he talked to him. So another movie I watched on Long BS3 was Platoon, and that's a real good movie. A real good movie. I. I can't remember seeing it all, but uh, I never, never did see it, you know, went through the years. Uh, it was got copyright in 1986, so I was pretty young when it came out. It's got Charlie Sheen and some other couple of popular actors. Anyway, they were pretty good movies right there. Kind of been watching it. I like some of them bang bang shoot 'em up war movies. Uh, got a few others to watch. Oh well, got a couple of dirty, dirty hairy movies. Well, it's actually two movies per disc. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch them. If time allows. I ain't gonna sit around and be sorry and watch videos all day. But, uh, I get in here, I'm on the computer, listen to the radio, the guys in Whitney, but, uh, what the hell, I was gonna, they got me a new radio, I put some of this stuff somewhere in a box, but, anyhow, where the hell I put that stuff, I probably already took some of it in another room, but uh, I got the radio in here, you got, uh, let me just pick this camera up and show it to you. Of course, this is this is the old desk workstation where I do my do my business in here, radioing and computering and paperwork. And uh, of course, that's my uh, Silver Eagle that I bought up there at 
Mike Kilgore's. Let me fold these legs up on these stands. Give me a minute. Okay. Yeah, that's my still regal that I run with my Cobra 2000. Let me. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, a little amplifier and stuff. So. And Goose Rider boxes. That radio right there. The 142 Cobra GTL. And that baby is clean. I bought that from a guy I worked with. Carrie. His dad, um, Gerald, Gerald McWhorter. Went by Twister up around Roy City. And, uh, Gerald passed away, I believe, the end of January sometime, maybe on the 31st, but it's got extra channels in it, not a whole lot, but it, it has some places you can go and talk, AM bands. Okay, <laughs> we cut the tape off again. Let's get exactly where I was yakking at. Anyways, talking about the radio. Uh, yeah, his handle was Twister in Roy City. And uh, I guess his mom didn't want his stuff anymore. Uh, I don't know what her handle was, but uh, hell, I got a pretty good package deal about uh, the radio. Back up so I don't get get all screwed up here. Let me get a get focused in on that. That is a, a static D104 in top prime shape. And I'm telling you what, it is hooked up to the 142 like it's always been. So got that. I got a two pill or not a two pill, but uh, a two tube. Uh, 11 meter amplifier that's over at Goose's it's just it was working when I got it then did a little bit of cleaning to it so I, something went wrong with it it wasn't key up and go so get that looked at and fixed uh, my Kronta old old time realistic Radio Shack SWR meter that uh Oh hell. It's got three meters in it, about five hundred watt, you know, outfit, so uh Goose gets that fixed, I'll have that back. A little bit of coax and whatnot. It's got a pretty good pretty good deal on it. And I love the Frank's red hot. And I put that shit on anything. Anyway, I heard a horn honk outside. I don't know who the hell that is? I don't think anybody's gonna show up at 2.13 in the morning. Anyway. Anyway, this old crazy cooter here. And, uh, hold this thing back a little bit. <laughs> Whether or not you can see me. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this What's Really Going On session. Take one. And we'll catch y'all later. Something else to talk about. Bye-bye.